Hey guys, and welcome back to the Nolte Films channel where we talk about all the different types of videos that you can use to grow your business online. Let's lift the right, then lift the left. I'm Kevin Nolte and today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the number one question that I get the most and three ways that we can help answer this problem. Before I even have any sort of discovery session with a client, a lot of times when they pick up the phone, before they even tell me their idea, the first thing that they ask me is, how much is that going to cost? I will 100% of the time follow up with, what is your budget? And then they'll most likely say, well, you know, we were hoping that you can tell us so we can come up with one. Videos can be $300, videos can be $3,000, videos can even be $300,000 or $3 million. So here's a problem for us videographers, and I've wasted so much time doing it this way, is once you call me and you wanna find out how much it's gonna be, we'll talk about the video, we'll talk about your goals, the expectations, the timeline of filming and editing, how long it'll all be turned around, and what success will look like, just to be like, this video that you want is $5,000. And you respond with, hey, we were only hoping to spend 500 bucks. Aha, so you did have a budget and you chose not to share it with me. The quicker you can decide on what your budget is, the better conversations you'll have, the less time you'll waste, and the quicker your videographer can tell you yes or no. It's the same way, and it's kind of, this is kind of an exaggeration, but the same way I wouldn't approach a realtor and ask how much is a house. It just starts with understanding your business and understanding how much you can spend on certain things, not just video, but on everything. So here's my first way to determine how much to spend on a video. Look at video as an extension of your marketing plan or within it. So say your business gross revenue $100,000 a year and you spend 30% of that on marketing. You can't spend $30,000 on one video or only on video because there's other things to marketing and advertising that you're gonna need to spend money on. And say there's other events that are going on or other things that you would like video for, but you're talking about a specific project. Now you can start narrowing that number down. So maybe that number is 5,000, maybe it's 2,500, maybe it's only a thousand bucks or 800, but at least you know now and you can go up to your videographer and he says, or she says, what's your budget? And you can at least give a range, be like a thousand to maybe 3,500. You don't have to spend all 5,000 that you're allocating. You could share that information with them if you want. Or you can say something like, my budget's 1,000 to 3,500, and there's some room there if you have other ideas as to what would be good for this, since you're the expert. The more you do it, the more levels you find, and the deeper you get into it, and the more it means to you. As soon as we, you guys are set up, we're gonna get some more guards here to just corral it. Sure. I'll walk you which way we're gonna go. The second way to determine what to spend on a video is by simply asking around. If you know another business owner or a friend, and you like something on their social media or their website, just ask them, hey, how'd that video go? Is it doing well for you? How much did you spend on it? What were some things you like or didn't like or you could do again? Ask your friends, ask the people, they will tell you. The third thing that you can do is send your videographer inspiration. So that's a video that you stumbled across on social media or somebody's website and you're like, hey, I really like this. What would it cost? What would it take? What would it look like for my business to do something like this? That is even a huge first step. But just coming up to us and say, how much is a video? I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. So there's always gonna be somebody out there who can do it cheaper. Video's here to stay. We're not going anywhere. Look at all these platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Essentially, they're all video platforms. So my recommendation to you is not hop videographer to videographer to get the cheapest price because you will find the cheapest price if you do that. But I'm telling you the headache that goes into that, it's much better finding the right videographer to pair with for you know longevity over the course of time. So I would say before you go up to your videographer and say, how much is a video or your way out of our budget, Ask them what their starting points for video are and if they can handle smaller production or they can handle larger production and then come up with some numbers or be ready to talk those numbers. I know a lot of people don't like to show their cards first, 
but if there is a way to do it by showing some sort of range or showing some inspiration, so maybe your videographer says the number first, I know a lot of people hold their cards tight, and I do too. There has to be some level of transparency, otherwise we're just wasting our, each other's time. I hope you guys found this really helpful, and I hope your wheels start turning, because mine did. So enjoy that, and I'll see you guys next time.